We've arrived at the Operation Smile consultation day. So you have all the families who are coming through. Um, they're seeing the doctors for the first time. You have a lot of them who have never experienced Operation Smile. They get to learn about the transformation their child can have. With the incredible Shafa Cohen, who is on the board of Operation Smile in Nicaragua. Yes. We're here in our last mission of the year for 2017. Um, we have planned 130 surgeries in the next five days. Today is our evaluation day, so we'll see a little more than 200 um, families with children and evaluate them. All of our doctors are amazing, our amazing group of volunteer doctors from Nicaragua and international doctors. And then we will put together a surgical schedule starting Monday and we'll do um, 130 surgeries in five oh. I'm going to show you a few different areas. <laughs> So they take these three photos and it's kind of like this mirror image, he says, and then when we load it into a computer with the software, it creates a 3D face. We're going to use that more to analyze our results. You can really get a sense of like, did we do a good job? If our goal was to push those teeth back, is it happening? Because you get much more of a comprehensive yeah. Yeah. They will evaluate the case, talk with the mom, explain to the mom if indeed we do the surgery, what we would be doing. And the dental people will also like add in like, okay, yeah, you have that for surgery, and by the way, they're two horrible teeth, and they're going to be asleep anyway. This kid right here is from Nicaragua, here where we are right now with Operation Smile. And the photo is of a kid the same age who had the same surgery pretty much at the same time. Oh so this is the kid looking at the photo of his friend across the world. Oh my. Okay, so once you make it to this area, you've already been approved for surgery. Now this portion is just doing a lot of surveying. And what are the living conditions of these individuals? You grab a sample of saliva in order to study the genetics and find a relationship and if it correlates to something in their environment or their background. For example, if they're cooking inside of their home, that actually has been shown to be a correlation with having a child who may be born with a cleft palate or a cleft lip. Process, you know, it's hard to get into each country and uh, the founders of OpSmile wanted to move into a more preventative type of approach instead of just hammering out surgeries, you know, the next batch of people that are born comes in and it kind of never ends. So it's an environmental and genetic study. We do questionnaires with the families about their medical history, the environment that they're coming from. Um, what they face in their lives, certain conditions, especially during pregnancy. Then we'll also take saliva samples from them um, because we're doing genetic analysis as well. So we want to learn more about the genes that are involved already and what's known, and then maybe if we can discover new genes that are the reason why kids are born with cleft. Because one of the things that's really interesting is a lot of mothers and families, they feel like they did something wrong, or they did something to feel guilt, when that may not be the case at all. It's good it was completely genetic, and there's nothing anyone could have done to change that. So you want to let people know that that, that is a reason, so there's nothing you can do. This is the final station. The kids get a little name tag here. They get shown the report card of how they gone through all the steps. And this is the final, it's called the gatekeeper. Go through the file, and each one of the individuals, and then the children receive a priority ranking to figure out on which day will they be operated on, trying to organize how the week will flow. Ideally, a child is operated on when they're an infant, but at the same time, <laughs> there's some individuals who they may not receive care until later on. Also, these girls are my favorite. Deanna, Grace, what's it been like being a part of Operation Smile, basically since you were born? Um, a lot of the people like are scared of the people that have blood lips or palates, and they don't, don't treat them the same. Just like us, their kids, they play. Yeah. How crazy is actual surgery week? Crazy, there's so many people everywhere. Graciela has has scrubbed in. Have you actually? Yes. Yeah. You're my hero. Like actually.